Hello, hello. Okay, so this is going to be a review of S8 phone cases. So I know you guys have probably just started getting an S8 in. Um, I want to talk about cases um, that you can buy to protect them. So I've got um, one, two, three, eight phone cases right here. There's definitely more than eight out there, but these are the main ones that I think you're going to encounter. And a lot of the stores are um, don't have all of them in stock, so this can kind of give you a better idea of um, of what you're looking for before you get to the store. Um, so the first one I want to start with is one of my favorites, um, and this is the Tech 22. Um, so the Tech 22 comes in a case just like this, um, and these are supposed to be military rated to be stronger um, and more durable than even the Otterboxes. Um, in my opinion, the Otterbox has been going downhill for probably since they started. They came out with the first two really nice phone cases, and then they started um, getting less and less functional, so we'll get into that later, but this is supposed to be rated higher than um, even the OtterBox. And it's very small. So really where you're looking for the best protection is the edges. And I think this does a nice job of that. It also looks really cool. So just to go ahead and put it on the phone for you. Um, I particularly like the blue one, I think you can tell. Um, but I think it looks really nice. It does a good job covering the buttons correctly. I would say that the um, power button is a little sticky with this on, but not too much. Um, it does have the openings for all the ports and fits on nicely. Um, you'll see though um, that it doesn't do too much of anything for the front. Um, so that's the first one. And then so two, these these um, this texture is supposed to like spread out um, the impact if you were to drop it. I don't know if that works, but that's what they say about it. So that is the Tech 22. Um, the second one I'm going to talk about is the Spec series. So Spec has a bunch of these in all different um, colors and. This one even has glitter in it. Um, so this is rated a little bit less than the Tech 22. Um, and it does appear to be um, a harder plastic than the Tech 22. It does look like it is a little bit more durable and hard on the edges. It doesn't quite bend the same way. It has the same nice feel that the Tech 22 does, um, like, you know, kind of grippy, but not too sticky. Um, and it, it's pretty cute. Um, they have a lot of different ones. You're going to see what I'm talking about, which I feel like is the only real downfall to this. Is it, oh, I should try to get this in. Okay. <laughs> So it's a little bit hard to get into the actual case. Um, so I mean, hopefully nobody's like, I can't even do it. I know you guys are going to be able to get your phone into this, so I can't get that. I, I think if I tried for a little bit longer, maybe had my fiance come help us, then it would work. But And it is very cute, but if I ever have to take it off, that's going to be really annoying. So that's one of the things that I factor into when I'm looking at, um, oh no, can I even take it on? I do think it fits the buttons well. I haven't, I t truthfully haven't tried this once before and didn't get it on either. So, um... So that's why I wouldn't highly recommend it, but it, but you know, there are going to be some people who um, are not taking theirs off hardly at all, and it's going to be a great case for you because it is really cute and I think pretty durable too. Um, eight feet, if you think about it, that's more than a countertop, so I think that that's a pretty good um, 
I think that that's a pretty decent option. And I've had spec cases in the past that are great. Okay, so the next one, um, let's see the otter box. Okay, so otter box has the defender, the symmetry, and then also the commuter. The defender is its older classic one where you have the people who are otter box fans, they're gonna be really hard on to the defender. Um, I think that the, the, um, the other otter box options are becoming a little bit more popular because we're definitely seeing a trend towards the lighter cases. Um, me, I, I want something durable on my phone. But let me tell you why I've kind of migrated away from otter box. Now, this is pretty cool. It has this spongy thing in the middle that's going to help to absorb shock, and it's definitely really thick. So it has this spongy thing, and you can tell it has then also two layers. Um, it feels less grippy than the other ones, but still has that grippy feel, and then has the plastic. So if you drop this, you're gonna feel like pretty secure about it, but um, I'm glad that they've actually done away with, on the S8, they've done away with the plastic over the front. Cause I had an S7 protector and the water would, if you got even one drop of water on that plastic part, it would migrate under the phone. Cause there were um, where the button was at the top and the speaker, speaker at the, the button at the bottom and the speaker at the top, it would find its way into the um, phone and go under the plastic. So that's a really big pain. I would have to take it off. If it got even the littlest bit of water on it, it was a very big pain. So this this is a really big improvement. Um, nice too is that pretty much the, the bottom ports are going to be protected so you're not getting dust and stuff in them, which can be a cause of later down the road um, you having to um, get a new phone is because it's not charging. So I'm putting this in right now and as expected it's pretty hard to get in. Um, but if you're the kind of person that wants a defender, this is going to be a good um, option for you. So it's not all the way in because I'm going to just stop. Messing with that. <laughs> but um, if you're the type of person that wants a defender, you're definitely going to want something that's going to be a little bit more protective. You're probably not going to be taking it off. Um, and then the next one is actually, well, let's do the, this vegan first. So this is actually for um, an S8 Plus. Um, but I want to talk about the vegan because it's a nice new option um, that's become pretty popular with the S8. Um, Spigen has a lot of different models. This one's a nice like intermediate level of protection. And where you're looking for the protection the most is on the edges. Um, and so it has the one layer there and then it has a dual hard layer of hard plastic. So this is not sticky as you can tell. Um, comes in a few colors, none of which I'm like totally crazy about, but, um, nonetheless pretty good. So this has a little, um, tripod so you can, you know, watch videos, something like that. Um, they say it will pop completely out, like, but that's not a sign that it's broken. Just put it back in it. It's kind of like a safety mechanism. Oh, I can see that getting very annoying if it was flopping all around, but it does look like it was locked into place now. Um, and then they say that theirs is military grade as well, which is um, something that the Tech 21 also says. Um, and then the last one is Casemate. And Casemate's got a lot of um, really pretty cases. They are really just intended for girls. They all have glitter on them. Um, there is one clear one actually. And I think this may be my favorite. And I want to show you why. So it has a dual layer of protection, 
but the dual layer is only where you really want it, which is the edges. So you've got this option that goes right in here. And then it's flexy, but it's not that flexy. It's grippy, but it's not that grippy, um, if you can tell. And this one goes on, I think, pretty easily. There you go. Um, this one, interestingly enough, only has, um, only has some designs for S8 and some for S8 Plus. So the design you want might not necessarily fit your phone. Um, it does a pretty good job of covering the buttons um, and it's got like a little um, different coloring for the buttons, which I think is also nice. So that's Caseology. Um, okay, thanks so much.